classical model of the larynx coming from uh, looking at the various parts we have the hyoid bone and this one is the thyroid cartilage and uh, if we come inside we have this the opening or the inlet of the larynx this is the inlet of the larynx this is the cricoid cartilage and the retinoid cartilage and this one is the foundation of the larynx and if we uh, go for uh, downwards this is the trachea so this is the overview of the uh, structure of the larynx now coming toward uh, to the separate parts of uh, the larynx we will discuss it first of all the hyoid bone and the hyoid bone and the thyroid cartilage and uh, we will discuss the structures that are various structures which are related to it and uh, this is the this membrane here is known as the thyrohyoid membrane and it has a median thickening here this is the median thyrohyoid ligament and this is the lateral thyrohyoid ligament and uh, this is the thyroid cartilage thyroid cartilage this is the superior border and this is the superior thyroid notch um, cut section of the inferior border and these are the horns or the cornua this is the inferior horn of the thyroid cartilage and this is the superior horn of the thyroid cartilage uh, this is the lateral this white these white fibers are depicting the lateral thyrohyoid ligament that is actually the part of this thyrohyoid membrane in between the uh, superior horn and the uh, the cornua of the hyoid bone you can notice a thickening here this is the tritial cartilage Tritial cartilage is actually vestigial in humans and uh, it embryologically if we look at it, it is the embryological derivative of the superior horn of the, uh, the thyroid uh, cartilage. Uh, where, while the, these all structures are developing, this, uh, uh, the part of this superior horn separates from it and uh, it comes in this ligament, the lateral thyrohyoid ligament. So actually it is an embryological derivative of the superior horn. And uh, the uh, and the anat according to the various anatomic anatomists they say that this thyro uh, the tritial cartilage is actually supporting this lateral thyrohyoid ligament it is actually providing support to it so this is the tritial cartilage now coming forwards we can notice the vessels here which are descending down these are the branches of the external carotid artery and this is the superior thyroid these are the superior thyroid vessels these these are going towards the thyroid gland superior thyroid vessels and you can notice that this is the superior uh, uh, branch of the vagus nerve superior laryngeal nerve it is dividing into external laryngeal nerve and the internal laryngeal nerve the, this is the foramen here this is piercing this uh, thyrohyoid membrane this internal laryngeal nerve is piercing this thyrohyoid membrane and it is coming inward and it will supply the muscles which are present in the larynx so this is the vagus nerve division this is the division of the thyroid cartilage and the hyoid bone uh, again you can notice the uh, this is the median thickening this is the median thyrohyoid ligament and this is the lateral thyrohyoid ligament these are the vessels again superior uh, laryngeal branch is dividing into the external laryngeal and the internal laryngeal that is going inward and you can uh, call it the internal laryngeal vessels and nerve this is the internal laryngeal vessels and nerve collectively so this now the muscles you can notice a big flap of muscle here this muscle is the thyrohyoid muscle the thyrohyoid muscle and you can notice a nerve which is running on the superior surface this flap of muscle is the thyrohyoid muscle and you can notice the branch of the uh, the C1 uh, uh, nerve that is supplying actually the main trunk of the uh, the hypoglossal nerve that is actually su supplying this uh, thyrohyoid muscle. This is the oblique line of the thyroid cartilage and from the oblique line posteriorly we have this muscle this flap of muscle is actually the thyropharyngeus part of the inferior constrictor muscle of the pharynx thyropharyngeus part of the inferior constrictor muscle of the pharynx and there is a cut section of the muscle shown here this muscle is known as uh, sternothyroid muscle that is coming from the uh, the, ster uh, the sternum and it is inserting into the inferior uh, the thyroid cartilage the muscle is known as the thyroretinoid muscle this cut muscle in the next part we will discuss the internal structure of the larynx